Alright, so in this video we're going to be making some realistic looking grass and this is really easy, so we'll dive straight in. First of all, we need to delete the default cube and then we're going to go into the rendered uh, viewport shade in here and the first thing we're going to do is add a plane so we can go shift A, mesh and add a plane. The default size is alright, so we can just zoom in a little bit and then we're going to go to the materials tab here and we're going to add two new materials called the first one ground and we'll change that to sort of a dark brown looking colour and then for the second material we'll call this grass and we can change this to some sort of green maybe something like that okay and then next we're going to go to the world world properties here and I'm going to go and add an environment texture so to do that I'm going to click this little dot here choose environment texture and then click open and then I've already got some HDRIs here but you can get them from websites like HDRI Haven or you could just search free HDRI images on Google so I think I'll pick this one and I can crank the strength up to maybe three to make it a bit brighter so if I look around I've got this nice sky here and then next I'm gonna make sure I've got the plane selected and I'm gonna to go to object quick effects and quick fur if you go down to the settings at the bottom we need to change fur density here to heavy and then we're gonna get something like this and then we can go to the particle properties here because this is where the hair is getting made it's um, a particle so we're going to go down to render and we're going to change material from fur material to grass and we can go up to render properties here and enable ambient occlusion and bloom and then back on the particles we need to go scroll right down go to children I'm going to zoom in a little bit more and I think I'm going to go to where the sun's shining and I'm just going to turn off the overlays for now so in children we need to go right down to roughness and there's two settings we need to change here so I'm going to change random to 0.1 and that's going to give us a bit more of a messy looking grass here with like separated strands and then uniform I'm going to go to 0.1 again now we can see we're getting this like wavy looking grass here I'm going to change the steps to 2 we're not going to see any difference at the moment what is happening is our viewpoint display is only set to one so if it was three it would actually look like this so we want to make sure we're looking at exactly what the the render is going to look like if you want a more dense looking grass you can change the display amount up here to maybe something like 30 and that'll start to fill in some of these gaps we need to be aware that the render amount is set to a much higher amount here so when you do actually go to render it's going to use a, an amount of 100 um, so maybe if you're happy with what you're seeing on the screen you might want to change the render amount to match so the render looks exactly the same as what it looks like in the viewport we've also got the seed up here this is like the random seed so if you flick through you're going to get different results and we've also got the hair length so you can make that more or less you can change uniform to a different setting maybe 0.2 if you want more like hill areas so I'll maybe find a nice position to try to get some of those hills in so maybe something like that will be good so first of all I'm going to set my camera to be here so I'm going to press Control, Alt and 0 and that will place my camera here and then I can go to the top where it says global and change this to view and then when I'm selected on my camera I can press G and I can move the camera around like this or I could change it to Z to go in and out I can press G and then I can press Y to go up and down I can press R to rotate and I can press Z or X 
or Y to rotate in different directions. Okay, so I've found a spot that I'm happy with. So next I'm going to go up to the shading tab at the top and I'm going to click zero to get um, the view to where my camera is. And then I can go from object here to world and this is going to show us the settings for the, the HDRI. So as long as we've got Node Wrangler enabled in the add-ons in preferences, we can click the image here and press Ctrl T to add a mapping node. And we need to make sure we're in the rendered view here. And now we can rotate the HDRI around like this. And I'll maybe set these to something like minus 5 and X to minus 5. maybe minus four, minus four. Okay, so now that that's set up, I can just mess around with my textures a bit. So make sure I'm on the plane, go into the materials, so I can change the material of the grass. If I wanted more of an older looking grass, I could go with more of a yellowy color. And I can put the saturation down make it look a bit more like a, a sunset or a sunrise and then when you're done just click render image and we're done so I hope you were able to follow along with that tutorial all right if there's anything that you didn't understand just let me know in the comments and I've got a load more videos coming soon so keep an eye out for them and please like and subscribe if you want to catch my next videos thanks a lot for watching